sports fans. My name is Mike Ozer with Moe's Tackle Unlimited. We're going to do a series of how-to videos to show you sports fans how to put more fish in the box. Let's get busy and get right down to it. Sports fans, let's talk about my favorite slab to use is the freestyle type slab called the number 41 in chrome. This is a one ounce bait. It is my favorite slab. I uh, have had a lot of coverage on this on catfishradio.com with Luke Clayton. Uh, if you want to see the article, you can go to www.catfishradio.com. Check out my good friend Luke Clayton. Let's talk about this slab a little bit. It is a flutter style slab, and it does have the two assist hooks which some people are a little bit afraid of, but don't fear the assist hook. It's actually your friend. And the first thing I do when I break one of these bad boys out of the package is I go ahead and pinch the barbs down. I think that's why a lot of you sports fans fear the double assist hook, is because you, you just sometimes you'll get one of those um, in your finger when you're letting go about a seven or eight pound hybrid. So let me show you how to pinch the barbs down. Pinch the barbs just down on this number 41 chrome. You want to find the flat part of your needle nose pliers, which you can find on my website at www.mosetackleshop.com. And let's just pinch those barbs down. You want to put the hook on the flat part and just squeeze a little bit. And there you go. No barb. You're not going to lose very many fish, maybe one or two a trip. You keep the pressure on and you're going to land them. So I like to pinch both of these down. And then I'm going to explain to you how we're fishing this beauty. And why it's the only slab you'll find me with if you run across me out on one of these great lakes here in North Texas. I'll generally have this rigged up two different ways. So let me... Uh, Get some fluorescent yellow fishing line and I'll show you how we rig this. Fans, for video purposes, I'm using a 30 pound fluorescent yellow Dacron fly line backing. So you can see how I'm rigging this up. Uh, you can fish this slab with any monofilament or braid line of your choice. But let's take a look at this. If you're going to vertically jig this bait, Okay, there's the assist hooks. We're going to tie it in at the very top. Not on this. This is a, an O-ring with the assist hooks are on. And then there's a split ring. Okay, and then here is the post that actually goes into the slab right here. That's where we want to tie this bad boy in if we're going to vertically jig it. So let me get my line ready and we'll just show you how to get her done here. So here's the line. We're going to go through the post and then just tie a regular, just a regular knot. I'm just going to turn this about three or four times just for video purposes. I just tie a plain Jane regular knot. I'm not very good at this. If any of you guys, if any sports fans have fished with me, you know I like to get the tongue going and get everything all nice and worked up on this knot. There's about four or five turns right here. And you can use any knot you'd like. Preferably one that's going to stay on when you're landing a big fish. But that's just a simple clench knot. Nothing fancy. Once again, it's not rocket science, people. It's just, it's fishing. So, this is going to be going back to your reel. There's the bottom. You're going to be jigging this vertically up and down like so. So that is the way to rig the number 41 Chrome freestyle type jigging spoon. Now let's go ahead and show you another way to use this rig the number 41 chrome jigging slab which you can find at www.mostackleshop.com so here is the hook end of the slab 
the metal post that goes directly into the slab, that's where we're going to tie if we want to vertically jig this bait. Now, my favorite way to fish it is when you see birds working and fish are in on the top 10 feet of the surface, so you may be in 30 feet of water and hybrids and sand bass are pushing bait up to the surface. Well, this is where we tie it into the other end, away from the hooks. And then we're going to cast this slab out into schooling birds. So once again, it's nothing fancy. We just take the line, rig it in like so, make some turns. Once again, I just tie simple knots because I'm a simple guy. cinch it all down and there you have it so now the number 41 is tied at the top away from the hooks and you're going to cast this out so you got birds working 20 feet out in front of your boat you throw this bait out and then let it flutter and when this thing is tied from this end when it drops and hits the water kind of rolls on itself like this and then when you burn it you know, reel it back in really fast two or three turns and then it kind of wobbles and then it, it'll actually flutter back down backwards and straight into the fish and this also looks good burnt reeled in very fast on the top foot of the water so you're in fishing it almost like a top water bait burning it very fast right on the surface in the first two inches of water column and then stop and let this thing fall and it rolls back down and it looks just like a wounded shad that's been hit and is dying and falling to the bottom and don't start fishing this thing way too fast and burning it that flutter the fall is where you're likely going to get your hits when you're throwing out into the birds that are working uh, a lot of times you'll cast this number 41 chrome slab out into working birds and just let it flutter and fall. And a lot of times you will not feel the strike. The striper or the hybrid or the sand bass will pick this jig up and you'll just see your line moving to the left or the right or straight for you or away from you. That's when you set the hook. And in closing, the reason that uh, I use this slab so much is you can catch sand bass, you can catch hybrids, you can catch stripers all on this one slab. So when fish are keying in on smaller bait, they'll hit this. When they're keying in on larger shad, they'll hit this. You can vertically jig it on the bottom and burn it up and let it flutter down. So when it gets real hot and they want a fluttering type spoon, this fits the bill. When the fish are kind of inactive and you've got it tied in this way and they don't want the bait moving, you can just barely shake and almost dead stick it and it has a lot of flash to it, the bait works. And then my favorite way is when they're schooling, you tie it in away from the hooks, cast it out, let it flutter down and four or five quick turns of the reel, stop, let it flutter back down. Well, that's it, sports fans, for the number 41 Chrome. I hope to see you out on the water soon. Bye.